Well, my name is, if you want the whole name, it's Alan Reginald Derek Lamming Tizard. But we don't usually use the Lamming bit. Um, history. Born in 1931, the 18th of November, which makes me in my 80th year to do, at, at this present time, which I frankly and honestly don't believe. It just doesn't seem possible. Um, I obviously um, had my childhood for the main part um, decimated by the Second World War. If you go into the BBC archives, you find there's a great big bit in there, actually. And um, we were bombed out um, on the third, fourth day of the beginning of the proper blitz. In other words, Black Saturday, September the uh, 1940 was um, where I grew up. That day I truly grew up and uh, we were bombed out on the 11th of September. And frankly and honestly, I never considered I was a child from that day to this particular day. Um, I love children, as you are aware. Uh, as a background, um, I went to nine schools during the war. Did I ever get an education? I wonder if I possibly did. I ended up a B-stream boy, left school at 14, and I had the well, great good fortune to be within a family which, at the appropriate time, my mother took me literally by the ear and said, you are going to have an interview in the city of London. We lived in Welling at that time. And I thought, oh my God, what does that mean? But sure enough, we went along to Seething Lane, which was obviously opposite uh, the Tower of London, and my mother sold me to John Martin of London Limited, the importers, immediately after the war. So you can imagine that uh, it was a job to get, very rare things. I actually um, was there until I was called up. But um, however, um, I had, at the end of the war, joined the Army Cadet Force. So I was in the Queen's Own Royal West Kents for five years before I was conscripted, which meant that when I was conscripted, I was a fully trained infantryman, which I had to keep very quiet indeed, because DIs, drill instructors, don't like flash gentlemen to turn up in their squads. The only trouble was that um, I had been posted to the Royal Armoured Corps and a cavalry regiment, which was the training regiment. And um, infantry drill is different to cavalry drill. So, as you can imagine, when the DI says, Quack! and you come to the way you were taught as an infantryman, it differs to the way that you were taught as a cavalryman. So I was tumbled in no time at all. But it worked in my favour, actually. And um, basic training was an absolute, um, I, a doddle, a very hard doddle, but a doddle, because I, I had been doing it before. I had the great good fortune to, with my PSO test, to, um, in fact, uh, pass with very high marks with a mechanical adaptability, which meant that I would automatically qualify for training as a tank crewman. But first of all, you had to be trained as a B vehicle, a wheeled vehicle soldier. And if you were successful at that, which again, because I was absolutely motors balmy, and, um, and I can remember literally at the age of 10 being able to quote the firing order of Buick straight eight and describe its suspension system and its braking system. And hey, in those days, even the doctor arrived on a bicycle. So you were not in a world that people had motor cars. But would you believe, having then successfully concluded my basic training as a driver AFV, at the grand old age of 18, I had a 27 and a half litre, 2,000 brake horsepower, 35 ton Comet tank, all of my own, on my signature. So, as you can imagine, um, I'll use the word chuffed. I was rather pleased. And um, it coincided that um, at the time that I passed out, um, the 
thing that they have strangely in the army is called an annual administrative parade. And although I had been badged Royal Armoured Corps, that's the lightning around a mailed fist with a crown over the top of it. It's got a rude description, which I can't repeat here actually at the moment. Um, I suddenly found myself badged with the parent regiment's badge, which was the 14th, 20th King's Hussars. And that was just so that we as a very smart squad of soldiers could slow march up the steps of York Minster on this parade, which is something to this day, many years later, I still, remark still feel remarkably proud of. 